Why you should stop using Facebook and Instagram About 13 years ago, wherever I went, I would meet someone who would tell me, Hey, let's connect on Facebook. To which I'll answer, I don't use Facebook. One day, I asked one of my friends to tell me about what they were doing on Facebook and he told me that you can connect with your friends and chat with them anytime. That didn't seem like what I wanted to do with my time since I was crazily busy trying to build a business from zero. So, ignored all the pressure to join the social media bandwagon. However, one day, I met a man who let me know that I could promote my business on Facebook. <laughs> wow, now I have gotten a reason to join the Facebook and so I did. When I first joined Facebook, all I did was to post something about once or twice a month. Later, it became weekly and before I knew it, posting something on Facebook became a daily addiction. But that wasn't the worst. The really worst thing was that after I posted something, I would have to check back almost every hour, each session costing me 10 to 15 minutes. If I posted something on Facebook at night, when I woke up at midnight to use the restroom, I would have to check who has commented or liked my post or pictures. I knew that I was lost. Right in front of me, I could see my self-esteem going down so fast. I could see how much anger I allowed to ruin my days because of someone's negative comment and I mean someone I probably don't know anywhere other than on social media. I could see how much joy I had when any of my posts received many comments. I knew that I was gone because I knew that wasn't a real life I wanted to live. I knew who I was. I knew that I should focus on the real thing. I knew that only little people become sad or happy because of comments and likes. I knew if I continued that way, my whole life would be wasted enjoying Mark Zuckerberg's inventions. Just at the time when I was going through this horrible moment, I started hearing again from my friends, are you on WhatsApp? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? I asked myself, how on earth was I supposed to have a life of my own if I should go to all these social media, get addicted to them like I did Facebook? One day in November 2017, I announced to my Facebook followers that I was deleting my account and I did. Peace returned to my life. I from then focused on creating stuff that matter. I no longer have to waste 3 hours every day on little things like strolling through other people's photoshopped life. But I did something else that you need to know about and that is I decided to use Facebook for my advantage. Social media is like a weapon. Is a weapon a bad thing? Well, it depends on who holds it. The weapon in the hand of an armed robber is a bad thing but the same weapon in the hand of a soldier, <laughs> what do you think about it? Yes, that's a great protection for a city. Social media is like that. You can use it to protect yourself, connect yourself or destroy yourself. Unfortunately, 99.9% .9 of people are using the social media to destroy themselves. The Time Time is the asset of life and that's what we waste on social media. Many young people think that the reason why they are poor is because the government of their country is bad. Some think it's because the rich have taken all the wealth. Some blame their parents. What these people don't know is that there are three things that make anyone rich. Those three are money, talent and time. If you have any of these three, you should be rich and successful because each of them is a powerful leverage. Money can make you more money. We all understand that. Talent can make you a lot of money. We seem to know that. What most of us don't know is that time can be converted to money just as much as any of the two previously mentioned gifts of life. Time is an asset, not just an asset but the most valuable asset God gave human. If today you are the poorest person in your country and you don't have any talent or money, you have the time. As long as you know how to invest your time, nothing in the world can stop you. I know what I'm talking about because I was born into one of the worst situations in the world. I was born into a grade 2 poverty which many of you watching this video can never understand. Added to that was my bad health. Yet, when I became an adult, I decided to change my life. I decided never to have any hobby. 
no time wasting activities. I found my pleasure in reading, learning and trading stuff. Today, I'm more successful than most people I know who had better backgrounds. The difference is not the talent or rich parents. The difference is how we invest our time. According to some study, an average American spends 11 hours every day on different media. I hope that study was intentionally exaggerated. So, let's for a moment agree that the study was exaggerated. So, let's cut the time to half of what the study says. Then, we'll get over 5 hours. <laughs> really? People waste 5 hours of their lives obsessing with the comments and likes, scrolling through the photoshopped pictures of others. We all have to cry because we've got no future. Earl Nightingale said, If you invest one hour every day of your life into your profession, in 5 years, you'll be a national expert. Now we waste as high as 5 hours every day of our life and it's cool. The smart making the money out of the fool's ignorance. I once heard a story of Bill Gates when he was a little boy. Bill would make games for his mates to play. He made money from the games. They enjoyed the games. When I was a 15 years old boy, I bought a bicycle and my mates would come to me to ride my bicycle. They would pay me a few cents for certain minutes and that was the first time I fell in love with creating something for others to consume. The world has never changed. It's still the same game. A few smart guys create games. Others play the games and pay the smart guys who created it. Some smart guys created social media. We all waste our time there to make them richer. The game and social media creators become billionaires while the game players become poor and poorer because they are busy playing games instead of creating one. Everything you are enjoying today was created by someone and you can be sure that the guy who created what you are enjoying is making money because you are enjoying it. You may not understand how he makes the money just as most people don't understand how Zuckerberg makes his billions but you can be sure he does make a lot of money off of your time. How I Use the Weapon Right After I deleted my Facebook profile, since I have no other social media presence, I am no longer on any social platform. Instead of using the social media to ruin my life, I decided to use it to make money. I created a Facebook page and started promoting my business massively on social media. At the time, I was spending as high as $3,000 every month on social media ads and I was making back 100% return of my investment. It's a cheat. It's gold. It's almost free money and that's what I prefer to do. Today, my company's boat has about 166,000 subscribers and I've made more money on social media than any individual I know. As I make this video, I'm secretly working on massive thousands of dollars social media campaign. When we launch, it will be one of the biggest cash cows for us. But is it a sin to use the social media? Not at all. Social media is a powerful tool. The only problem is that human nature is too weak to know when to say no. Whatever we do, we do it until it hurts us and even when it hurts, most times we don't have the strength to turn back. If you are among the few disciplined humans, you can still use the social media for your good. The rule of the thumb is never allow anything or anybody to use you. You're human, you should be free, you should never be used by anyone or anything. By the time you have lost control over your time, by the time your self-esteem relies on how many comments and likes you get, by the time you log into social media 15 times every day, you are no longer using the social media. Instead, the social media is using you. If you find yourself at a junction where social media is using you, I advise you to stop that like I did and look for ways to use social media instead. Learn how to use social media to promote your brand. Learn how to sell your products or services. Stop being a game player. Make the game. Stop being a mere social media consumer. Create something and sell to other consumers.